Good afternoon, commissioners. Today I'd like to bring to your attention a potential fraud on an enormous scale happening in your county. There's now clear evidence of NASA using numerous methods to grossly mislead the public about astronauts being on the International Space Station. During interior ISS scenes from NASA's own live feed, the use of wires, harnesses, green screens, and virtual reality have been detected to achieve the appearance of a weightless environment. Examples of this include astronauts fading in and out of the screen, green screen glitches, grabbing objects that aren't really there, pulling on invisible wires, getting tangled in their harnesses, and even astronauts appearing out of thin air. This begs the obvious question. If they're really up there, why are they using Hollywood techniques to fake the footage? Now, unfortunately, I can't show you these clips in here today, but I will be sending them to you. Outside the International Space Station, during spacewalks, air bubbles have been recorded on numerous occasions. How is it possible for air bubbles to be present in the vacuum of space? In 2013, astronaut Luca Parmitano nearly drowned during a spacewalk when his helmet filled with water. This happened again just last year. Air bubbles, helmets filling with water, and drowning. Are they in space or are they underwater? Now what's really interesting is that they train for spacewalks in an underwater pool with a complete ISS replica. Now surely they aren't filming these spacewalks in an underwater pool and then editing them to appear if they're in space. Because that sure would be something, wouldn't it? I'm calling on the Brevard County Commissioners to open a full investigation into NASA's fraudulent practices and use of taxpayer dollars. It costs NASA $3 billion per year to operate the ISS, and if they don't have a darn good explanation as to why they're faking these videos, I and the public would like a darn good explanation as to where our tax money is going. 